topic 34 vectors 2 swali la kwanza in a parallelogram a b c d a b is equals to 2a and a d is equals to b we have a sketch with each other if m is the midpoint of a b m is the midpoint of a b and a c cuts m d at a point called x part one ukaulizwa express a c in terms of a and b toka a nenda mpaka c utapita a b plus b c utakuwa usha toka a usha fika c kwa hivyo a c is equals to a b plus b c ambo itakuwa a b ni 2a na b c ni sawa na a d kwa hivyo b c ni pia ni vector b nam part 2 sasa kwa ulizo nini ili kwa part 1 na hii ni part 2 part 2 tumeulizwa given that ax is equals to mac and mx is equals to nmd yani hii ni fraction na hii ni fraction unatakikana uzifind hizi fraction mbili where m and n are constants find m and n find hizi constant mbili ni fraction gani yani nitaka ujue mx ni kipande gani cha md na ax ni kipande gani cha ac wafauzi find hizi ratios za hapa how can you find them utasema pita ax using two roots njia ya kwanza jaribu tumie m na njia ya pili jaribu tumie n hapo utapata two roots ambayo two roots zitakupa simultaneous equation kwa sababu zote ni a kwenda x wewe utapita na hivi utapita na juu utapita na chini zote twenda ax so tujaribu njia ya kwanza ax is equals to m of ac ambayo itakuwa ax is equals to m of ac wapi ac tulikuwa tusha calculate ni 2a plus b kwa hivyo m times 2a itakuwa 2m vector a na m times b itakuwa m vector b tupita root ya pili a paka x naweza kuja am plus mx ambayo am ni vector a na mx is a fraction of md where can i find md rahisi rudi hivi panda juu takuwa negative a plus b so nitasema hapo ax is equals to m am plus mx ambayo itakuwa vector a ndio ile am plus mx itakuwa a fraction of md m paka d itabidi niende ma plus a d ma plus a d kazi rahisi hiyo ma ni negative a na ad ni vector b kwa hivyo sasa fungua hii brackets n times a negative na n times b n b hapa vector a hapa vector a bora ni uzifactorize ili ifanane kama hii ya hapa one vector one vector na hapa pia ija one vector one vector so factorize hapa itakuwa one minus n times vector a alafu na hapa n vector b tusha find root one tusha find root two faida yake ni nini faida yake ni kuwa root one is the same as root two kwa sabu zote za toka a mpaka x root one na root two so kama hii ni ax na hii pia ni ax we can equate them tuzimalize hii ni vector a na hii ni vector a yamaanisha this coefficient is the same as this coefficient what are we doing hapa we are doing something called comparing coefficients 2m is the same as 1 minus n kwa sababu hii na hii zilikuwa ni the same vector kwa hivyo 2m is equals to 1 minus n na m is equals to n solving equation 1 na equation 2 using substitution m is the same as n kwa hivyo 2m is equals to 1 minus badilia n naweza eka 
m kwa hivyo 2m is equals to 1 minus m minus m itaruka huku ita plus itakuwa 3m is equals to 1 by 3 by 3 m is equals to 1 over 3 n is also equals to 1 over 3 so tusha find constant zetu mbili m na n ukitaka kuhakikisha hapa unakuja unasema mx ilikuwa ni 1 na xd itakuwa ni 2 kwa sababu mx was 1 over 3 of md na huku ni 1 ax ilikuwa 1 over 3 of ac na mx ni 1 over 3 of md siku nyingine utaulizwa ratio mx is to xd ama ax is to xc utaziona pa 1 is to 2 1 is to 2 na kadhalika hii wa inakuja 10 marks ili nsalda zamani ndio maana liko 8 marks lakini zoea kuzifanya Ukiulizwa vovote vile nenda root ya kwanza nenda root ya pili alafu compare root 1 to root 2 utakuwa usha find zile unknown constants Mimi mara hii nimepita na ax siku nyingine wewe badili ya kwenda na ax tumia mx nenda mx root 1 alafu mx root 2 ili upate kupita na hii leta nyingine ambayo tutaifanya kwenye video nyingine lakini kwa sasa ushajua hii yafanywa vipi